of you are doing well. I want us to take a short reading from the book of Psalms, chapter 127. It says, if God's grace doesn't help the builders, they will labor in vain to build a house. If God's mercy doesn't protect the city, all the centuries will circle it in vain. It's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night, toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough. Now God can provide. I want you to see this. It says God can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep. Now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy any time we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy any time we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it. Also, by doing this, you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel. Then, don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section. Hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here. And then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too. You were blessed. Son. Stay blessed. God has been faithful in the midst of all the chaos and the deaths and the lamentations around. He has preserved us. Believers must learn that it is an act of worship to give thanks. Bible says in Psalm 100, it says, Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. He said, Come before him with singing. Hallelujah. It's important that we open up our hearts and express our gratitude. Let me tell you something. Every time you cease to see the relevance of God in your life, all he does is to take a step out of your life and you will see the chaos that your life will become without him. Hallelujah. I am ever conscious of his presence. I realize that he designed us to be inadequate without him. And forever we are eternally grateful. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you praise. Please take on your Bible. First and foremost, just walk to two or three people. Appreciate them. Walk up to two or three people. Just bless them. Give them a good hug. Hallelujah. Please be seated. God bless you. Father, we give you praise. Romans chapter 8. Tonight the Lord is going to be provoking us. Hallelujah. Bible says provoke one another to godliness. God is going to be challenging us. Our goal in this place is to build us, to equip ourselves, hallelujah, to prepare the army of the Lord, the generals who will take charge. We are raising a takeover generation, a generation of men and women who understand their king, understand his ways, and understand his power. Hallelujah. Bible says saviors shall come out of Zion and that they shall judge the mount of Esau God is depending on us and upon our generation Bible says in Romans chapter 8 from verse 18 it says I reckon that the sufferings of this present time is not compared it's not worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in us verse 19 says for the earnest expectation of creation waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. Some version says that 
creation is waiting for the day and the time when God will reveal who his sons truly are. Hallelujah. Bible says, Behold what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. He said, Now are we the sons and it doth not yet appear what we shall be like. Hallelujah. And so tonight, God is going to challenge us. It is our desire that we come to a point where we truly understand God's ways and his life and his power and his grace. For it is out of the abundance of this revelation that we'll be able to rule and to reign. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 8. Lord, let your word come with fire in our spirits. Let your word challenge us and equip us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 8. Please bring out your Bibles, your writing materials. Verse 15. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption whereby we cry, Abba, Father. It says, The Spirit himself beareth witness with our spirits that we are the children of God. Verse 17. Let's read together. One to read. The A part is my point of emphasis tonight. It says, And if children, then heirs. It says, Heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. Tonight I want to give us a revelation of what it means to be a joint heir with Christ. Hallelujah. For many believers, the concept of being one, the concept of our oneness with Christ, I hope you realize that the whole goal of eternal life and the coming of the spirit in our life is first and foremost to bring us into oneness hallelujah the church is called the bride of christ and according to the book of genesis when god was speaking instituting marriage he told adam he says wherefore shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife and they too shall become what one flesh they too coming from different locations in this holy matrimony they become one flesh and now the bible is saying that the holy spirit comes to live in us as a testimony that god has agreed to bring us into oneness and the bible says if this statement is true then it means he tells us from verse 17 it says and if children in other words if god didn't lie if it is true that God is saying that he has brought us into oneness, then it means that we are heirs. Hallelujah. It says heirs of God and joint heirs. Joint heirs with Christ. I pray that your eyes will be open tonight to understand the power and the revelation behind not only being one with Christ, but being a joint heir with Christ. Hallelujah. The book of Esther, don't turn there. It's a prophetic book that reveals to us the power and the transition of the church of Christ. Coming into that point where we sit with the king. Hallelujah. The Bible makes us to understand that we were alienated from the commonwealth of Israel. This is the prophetic type of Esther, Hadassah. The Bible says she was cut off from the people. She was a slave girl in the countryside. Then the Bible says how that when King Ahasuerus banished Vashti as queen, the Bible says certain people were called. And Esther from nowhere came into a point where she was given the royal crown, the signet ring, instantly she came into honor and the bible says that she was made to sit with the king hallelujah and at that point she had power and authority you need to realize the implication of what it means to be a christian for many of us being a christian 
It's just, I know that we have taught about vision and purpose and all of these things. But it is important for us to understand the supernatural dimension and the implication of being a Christian. Hallelujah. Being a Christian is not just one of the many religions we have on the earth. The implication of being a Christian is first and foremost that you have come into oneness. Say after me, oneness. Oneness. When you come into oneness, the Bible says in Genesis chapter 11, talking about Nimrod and the Tower of Babel, it says that God looked down and saw that the people, although there were many, he said the people is one. He didn't say are one. It may be grammatically wrong, but it's spiritually correct. He said the people, he saw that they were one. Hallelujah. Therein lies the revelation of the victory and the authority of the believer. That you realize that when you come into Christ, there is a literal translation. First and foremost from the kingdom of darkness, the Bible says, into the kingdom of God's dear son. And then he calls the Holy Spirit the spirit of adoption. The one who is able to call different sons. What does it mean to adopt? To adopt means to pick someone who was not originally yours by hallelujah and bring the person to a point where he becomes a literal benefactor of your benevolence or whatever you have to a point that you can say this is an adopted child you give the child the exact same benefit the bible calls the holy spirit the spirit of adoption the one who is able to adopt the saint and bring him into that point where you are qualified by his grace and by the righteousness of christ to be an heir of God and a joint heir with Christ. Hallelujah. I've always given this example, but then let me use it again. Please, someone from the, come. Hallelujah. Now, all of you watch this. Assuming I own a company. Are you listening to me? I want to show you the revelation of oneness. And what it means for us to come into oneness and to be joint heirs with Christ. Assuming I own a company. And let's assume that Tosin is a cleaner in that company. Are you following me now? Is a cleaner just sweeping everywhere. And I decide to get married to her. Watch this. The moment. Are you listening to me? The exact moment the pronunciation is made by the pastor that I hereby declare you husband and wife. Listen, the implication is that in the realm of the spirit, God ceases to see two of us as two people. We become joined. Are you listening to me? In theology, we call it the doctrine of interpenetration. The mystery of two people, two separate entities becoming one. This is why the church is called the bride that comes into oneness with Christ. The church is the Eve of Adam. Are you listening to me? Just like, follow me please. In the book of Genesis, the Bible makes us to understand that Adam came into the scene and Eve was there. Are you following me now? The goal, the authority, everything was vested upon Adam. But the Bible makes us to understand that when Satan wanted to get that authority from Adam, he came through Eve. Are you following me now? Eve was the pride and the glory of Adam. Because she was cut out from him. Hallelujah. And the Bible makes us to understand in the New Testament. That Christ has now become that second Adam. Are you listening to me? Now the Eve that belongs to that Adam is no longer a singular person. is a body. The bride of Christ. We have now become the Eve of this second Adam. Are you following me now? So that we are supposed to be joined the exact same way Adam was joined to Eve. And so you see, Satan is using the same strategy in Genesis. Wanting to get Adam, he came through Eve. This is why Satan is haunting the church, who is the bride, the Eve of this Adam. Hallelujah. But then it is important for us to understand the implication of being the bride of Christ. Instantly, Tosin becomes a partaker of everything I own. 
she begins to bear my name are you following me now now watch this whether you like her or not is not the issue there is a present day reality are you listening to me she can tell the driver please take me somewhere and the driver will say you you tosin and somebody will say stop calling her tosin she's no longer tosin now watch this if tosin does not know that revelation and there is a bully who has been troubling her before the marriage are you listening to me the bully can look at her and say if you like become or god's wife that's your cup of tea you are going to sweep this place what happens although it is a present i have never denied that she's my wife but she will keep sweeping as though we are not married are you listening to me she will keep sweeping and her words will not have power because she has not understood the implication of being my wife are you following me now if for some reason i get to find out and she suddenly comes into that revelation that come i have the right and the power to suck you out of this company and to bring you and if you reject and do not stand by my words the one who made me his wife it will now be his responsibility to prove whether he lied by telling me i'm his wife or not so the defense is not your job are you listening to me the defense for it has god designed a man to protect a woman is that correct a man is supposed to defend so if the woman speaks on behalf of the man and anyone that contends with that statement the man is supposed to come in this is how god designed and so if she talks to that man and says do not harass me listen the fact that i'm married to her does not change the bully automatically he will keep being a bully he will test her understanding of the implication of what it means to come into this new position now she's used to sweeping she's not used to somebody driving her in a jeep are you listening to me and calling her good morning ma so sometimes her mindset can make her so humble she say let me just take this broom and help you but whether or not she chooses that that is not the present reality according to the agreement now when she comes into an understanding one day she will take the marriage certificate and come and summon all the workers and say by the terms that are in this certificate that i'm showing you it has been written here can you see my name signed here are you following me now and the moment she's speaking i will come and stand by her side and said i hope you are hearing from that moment listen from that moment it has not only been that now watch this two scenes here number one it is true that i'm married to her but she's still suffering are you following me now she's still suffering does that change the fact that i'm faithful are you listening to me marriage is the best description of our oneness and the implication of what it means to be joint heirs joint heirs are you following me now now the difference between a co-heir and a joint heir is this let me have another person yes please if the music director is my business associate we are not joint heirs are you following me now we are called co-heirs because if we need capital to start a project hallelujah assuming we need one million naira i can bring six hundred thousand and he brings how much four hundred thousand are you following me now our profit is shared according to our contribution are you following me now that means the day he decides to get angry we're in trouble are you following me now so but in this case she didn't do anything she only told me yes are you following me now and everything i have instantly belongs to her there is a difference between being a joint heir and a co-heir there are many believers that are trying to be co-heirs with god the bible never calls us co-heirs with christ don't be so spiritual that you argue the reality of what is in the word of god it was inspired by the spirit a joint heir is number one one who has come into oneness oneness with christ oneness with christ that means you possess his life the life of god is in you are you listening to me you must understand the power and the implication of having what we call eternal life. 
Eternal life is not the life you will have when you get to heaven. No, that's not eternal life. Eternal life is God's life supplanting your biological life literally so that you begin to exist with another dimension of life. It's a supernatural life. Higher than all the limits in this realm. Either God is lying or you believe it. The implication of being one with Christ is first and foremost that we are partakers of his divine nature not partakers of his nature there is a reason why the bible says that nature is divine partakers of his divine nature hallelujah that means we are connected watch this we are connected every time christ is honored if it is true that we are one the church must be honored that's why every time you praise God, you also receive a portion of that blessing. Every time you truly praise and worship God and nothing happens to you, then it, it means God has lied. You see the power of praise and worship. Because whatever is happening to him must also happen to you. This is the implication of being one. The, the Israelites understood this. He said, touch them not, they are the apple of my eyes. Hallelujah. Do you realize the implication of being one with Christ? Watch this. I am one with Tosin. When we go to the market, we are going together. Are you listening to me? Every time anybody wants to speak evil against me, hallelujah, assuming I am somewhere and she's not there, if I hear you talking about her, what, what do you expect me to do? Just smile and say, wow, you are a very smart person. I live to promote her interest in her own realm whenever she hears you saying anything about me because we are one are you following me now the concept of oneness does not mean you are in the same location necessarily that you have been joined in life in purpose in vision are you listening to me her pain becomes my pain her joy becomes my joy her vision becomes my vision do you understand the implication of being a joint heir with Christ Hallelujah. That means if Jesus is righteous, I am righteous. Oh yes, whether I feel like it or not, it, either God is lying, it's a present day reality. Accept it. This is the truth in Christ. So every time I stand before principalities and powers, the first revelation in the realm of the spirit is the one to find out whether you are in Christ or not. Outside of Christ, you do not have a platform to do anything. Are you listening to me? The basis for everything in the spirit is that you are in Christ. In Christ. Outside of Christ, you do not have a say. You do not have a platform. So in Christ, when I speak to a sick body, and I command that cancer to leave. What they are saying, I'm speaking on behalf of the authority and the government of heaven. Are you listening to me? If the person does not get healed, are you listening to me? It's left for the one I'm representing to validate his reputation because it's at stake there. Are you listening to me? And so the Bible says, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. It says, I fear no evil. Why? For thou, who is the thou? Thou art with me. It says, if it is true that we are children, that we have been adopted, called out of every tribe and every tongue and every nation, then we are heirs of God. And joint heirs with Christ. Partakers of his divine life. Partakers of his divine life. What is the life of God? What is it? What is the divine life of God? Let me tell you what the divine life of God is. The divine life of God is everything that makes him God. Everything. Every attribute that can be found. Because Christ is the express image of God. So whatever, Christ came to give us a sample of everything that can be found in the Father. 
Hallelujah. And so Christ is the expression. The Bible calls him the express image of the father. What does that mean? That means that if it is true that the life of God is in us, then Christ becomes our standard. That everything that flowed through Christ, his glory, his power, his grace, should find expression in us. Sons of adoption. So if I speak in the realm of the spirit and my words have no implication, then it means my oneness has a problem in the realm of the spirit. It means it has not been established and it has not been recognized. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now watch this. Before we got married, she had her ideologies and her limitations. Watch this. When we get married and I'm the man and she's the woman, who submits to who? What does it mean to submit? To bring your strength and your value system and everything to conformity. Are you listening to me? That, that becomes the basis. Because although I am married to her, she can choose to take her mindset of being a sweeper. It doesn't change the fact that I'm her husband. But she's going to suffer the consequence. And by implication, it's going to affect me. Do you understand? So the Bible says, this is God's present day reality. Now come into alignment. That's what we call the renewing of the mind. Coming into alignment with God's perspective about you. And God's reality about you. Let me tell you what God has to say about his bride. Hebrews chapter 2. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hebrews chapter 2. Verse 5. Are you there? God's purpose. Hmm. I want to show you what it means to be a joint heir with Christ. We are examining the implications of being joint heirs with Christ. For unto the angels hath he not put in subjection the world to come of which we speak. Verse 6. But one in a certain place talking about David. Psalms 8. Testifying saying. What is man that thou art mindful of him? Or the son of man that thou visitest him? 7. It says thou madest him a little lower than the angels. Thou crownest him with glory and honor. And did set him over what? Read it. Read it. It's in your Bible. And you set him where? Is it in your Bible? Did he say the man grew there? He said God set him. That is an appointment. God set him and said come. I set you over everything I have created. Tapo satabariakata. He said, God set him over the works of his hand. God says, the jurisdiction of your rulership is everything that came from my hand. So long as I am the one who created it, both in the realm of the spirit and in this realm, I bring, I pray. get what I'm preaching. Are you getting me tonight? You must get this as a revelation. So what did God create? Start naming them. One to go. Name them. You are laughing. What did God create? Because the Bible tells us that he put all of those things in subjection to man. The atmosphere. The animals. Weather. Territories. Land. The resources in the deep. He said, God has placed man. He brought all of these things in subjection to man. That is the reward you get for being the bride of the owner of the whole world. Psalms 24. The earth is the Lord's and its fullness thereof. Now you have become his bride. And he says, look, I put all things under your subjection. I 
I put all things. You people name everything God created. You didn't name them all. Satan. Demons. Kapora Sitayama. The fallen angels. He said, I put them in subjection. Principalities. Spiritual wickedness in heavenly places. I put them in submission. Let's read on. Now watch this. It says, for in that he put all in subjection under him. He did what? He said he left. Come on, read it. It's in your Bible. That means God didn't make any mistake that later you say, ah, I forgot to put Satan under your feet. No. He said God was thorough. He made no mistake. He put all things. All things. God is not scratching his head saying, what kind of costly mistake did I make? The bride, the bride, the eve of this second Adam. Do you realize that even when it comes to calling Jesus back to the earth, it is the spirit and the bride that says come. The spirit alongside with the bride called their husband and say come. The spirit and the bride say come. I give you the highest. Oh, I'm not ordinary. I'm not ordinary. I give you the loudest. Loudest praise to the King. I lift my holy hands. Highest praise to the King. I give you. I give you. Help me. The highest praise. I give you. Lord, we give you praise for what you have done for us. Give you the highest. Listen. I give you. Can I tell you something? Can I tell you something? Watch this. I need to deliver us from a Christianity that allows every and anything to happen around us. The Bible says. God has brought, I, I use this lady to give you something. That means, see, Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. It says, this book of the law shall not depart from out of thy mouth. He said, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. That thou mayest observe to do all that is written therein. Hear this. He says, then you shall make your way. Who will make it? It's in your Bible. You shall make your way prosperous and you shall have good success. So, your finances is under your control. Your health under your control. Your life under your control. Your longevity in life under your control. Your victory. It says God put all things under subjection to the man he created. God made no mistake. So everything, listen, listen. The Holy Ghost comes to live in you and directs you to champion the course of your destiny according to the knowledge that is gained from the word of God. And then Jesus came, watch this. Jesus came. Listen, let me tell you the implication of the coming of Jesus. Do you realize that Jesus came and acted the part of the woman for you to watch. He came and became what he wants you to be. Walked upon the earth. Showed you victory over sickness. Victory over everything. Unconditional love. They wanted to throw him from a cliff. He walked through them. Died. Conquered death. They were looking for money. He was stranded. He said, go to the fish. I am convinced that the money came at the mouth the moment he spoke. He said, I am so powerful, I can use anything. Go to that fish. Bring out a coin. In John 21, listen, 
when he resurrected in John 21, the Bible says the disciples were struggling to catch fish. There was no fish. At his word, they caught fish and the net was about to sink. The Bible says Peter wore his clothes and ran and he came and met Jesus already roasting fish. Where did he get his own from? He said to no angel. Listen, I will tell you why he said to no angel. Do you realize that Lucifer was a fallen angel? Do you realize that the angels of God are loyal? Satan as a fallen angel is claiming ownership and God is saying, let me inform you. I did not give any angel, any angel, the earth. So any angelic being in heaven or in the earth that claims ownership of the earth is doing it illegally. He says to no angel did he ever say that he will be a partaker. He did not put the world under the subjection of any angel. The secret of victory in life is to accept by faith. Are you listening to me? That you are supernatural. Because you are the bride of Christ. You have come into oneness. We are partakers. I am a partaker. See, that's why my life will keep soaring from glory to glory. It's not because my name is Joshua Selman. I understand the implication of what it means to be one with Christ. Take me anywhere. I know the end. Glory. Glory. The glory of God. Hear me. So when you understand this, there is nothing in the kingdom called disadvantage. Cancel it out of your life. Quickly. Yeah. What then is the basis of saying you are disadvantaged? Are you listening to me? It doesn't matter what situation. You know you are victorious. Because you are the bride of Christ. When Jesus faced situations, he didn't cry and wail. And do as if he didn't have anything to do about it. The Bible says even Jesus knew what to do. He knew what to do. Hallelujah. When they met him with a hard question. They said this woman was caught, caught in adultery. And Moses wrote in his law. That if a woman be caught in adultery. She should be stoned. So what do you have to say? Suddenly he tapped from the bank of the wisdom of the spirit. And he simply answered them, he says, he who does not have sin among you should cast the first stone. The Bible says they were convicted from their heart and they threw back the stone from the oldest. It's beautiful that he started from the oldest because he was matured enough to have that common sense from the oldest down to the youngest. And he looked at the woman and said, woman, where are thine accusers? He said, neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. Do you believe that you are one with Christ? Do you believe it? The times that are coming will test that revelation. Hallelujah. Now, from the story I gave here, watch this. From the story I gave here, how did she demonstrate her oneness? How did she demonstrate her oneness? My wife in this example hallelujah number one she came into terms with it is that correct number two she began to announce it using the marriage certificate as the basis are you following me now that's when you come into that the first revelation is to accept it accept that in christ is your inheritance to live a prosperous life many of us do not believe that this is possible or oh, not in nigeria who told you It's possible to live in divine health. It's not just possible. It's your heritage. It's not a product of fasting and prayer. 
is God's present day gift for you as being his bride. The only limit you have in Christ is the limit that Jesus too has. His limit becomes your limit. That's the reason why, listen, watch this. Every time God speaks to you, he speaks to you from his realm of ability and reality. God can look at you and say, Mos, um, he says, Moses, tell the people to move forward. Was God stupid? Was he not seeing the Red Sea? He said, Moses, tell them to move forward. You do not know the person you are in partnership with. Ask them to move forward. When Joshua was afraid, he said, Joshua, be strong. As I was with Moses, I am with you. Be strong and of good courage. Every time God is about to set you on assignment, he reminds you that you are not alone. This is the secret of great men. This is the secret of generals. They came to a point where they, they got a revelation. Every time I pray for the sick, the Lord taught me this. That's why many times I take a while before I start ministering. I'm coming into that alignment that I am not alone. I'm not alone. So I sing songs that reminds me of his presence. Look at what God is doing in this ministry. Does it not tell you that these are not the works of a man? What kind of intelligence can make a young man or young people to do this? Doesn't it tell you that it looks like there is a bigger person? Young Cho says the Holy Spirit, my senior partner. And with the ministry and oneness with that senior partner, he produced the largest church in the world till date. An ordinary Korean that does not even understand English very well. So it's not about oratory that Americans teach how to do this. Seven steps to do this. Stories. If you are not in your oneness with him, you will be shocked. Are you understanding this? Tonight I'm here to provoke you and then we'll pray that you are one with Christ. So as you're writing your test and writing your exams, you are one with Christ. You are one with Christ. You are one with Christ. That's why the sister could get her, her job out of over 500 or 200 people. See, when you see some people blessed for no reason, stop looking at them. Look at the person they are in unity with. See, listen. Let me tell you the implication of coming into oneness with someone. When David became king in Israel, he said, Is there any man in Saul's house that I may show him kindness? Who was brought? They brought a cripple called Mephibosheth. Hey. Mephibosheth sat at the royal table, although he was crippled, because he was called by the king. Mephibosheth was called and he was honored. The same food the king ate, he ate. Hallelujah. That's why you can see a man who does not speak good English, but God is still using him. You can see a man who is not fine, he's not handsome, it doesn't matter. Demons still cry out because it's not about your looks, it's about your oneness. 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 In many African countries, they don't preach in English. They cast out devils in their local dialects. The devils have never argued that they don't understand the language. Never. I am one with Christ. His supernatural life lives in me. Are you following me now? So you are not weak. Many of you are waiting until the day you become a man or a woman of God. No. This revelation has an implication. There is nothing I would do in this life that I will not emerge at the top. It sounds like pride. But I will be lying if I don't tell you this. It's not because of me. There is no project by the grace of God. All from the time he and I started there is nothing we have laid our hands to do 
that we did not accomplish. Not because we are great men. Are you listening to me? Because we have a great husband. So you can walk in divine health. Why? I am one with him. His life lives in me. That no demon can come and disturb you. Listen. Can I challenge you friends? Get angry and solve this issue of demons once and for all in your life. Hear me. It was not designed to be a struggle. There's no demon that has threatened Jesus from his throne in heaven. Are you listening to me? When you are entering a car to travel, be conscious of the fact that he is with you. Are you understanding what I'm saying? There are deaths happening everywhere. I'm sure you have been getting reports of people dying and all of this. I feel very sad and grieved in my heart. And we pray that God will keep these people. But now that you are alive, do you believe your life is by chance I'm challenging you tonight do you realize there is nothing called chance in the realm of the spirit everything happens as a result of cause and effect you are not gathered today by chance are you listening to me it is not by chance Jesus did not become Lord of all by chance you don't become healthy by chance. Are you listening to me? You don't become prosperous by chance. You don't become anointed by chance. It's by light. The illumination of the word of God engrafted in your spirit. You don't speak to Satan and say, Satan, leave. And then he leaves by chance. There is no chance about it. Am I convincing you? Get angry and believe this. So if you are to advance in your life, it's not going to be by chance. Satan is not invading this world by chance. Channel O is not taking over by chance. Are you listening to me? MTV is not moving by chance. What's the name of this Nigerian rapper that's those guys that sing all kinds of of songs that you cannot even resist buying the album they sing rubbish and nonsense is that called chance some of them slept in graves for days received powers and anointings came back wrote nonsense on tapes and there is a force moving men beyond their control come on nothing happens in life by chance success is not by chance long life is not by chance all the people in the early days of the bible live long not by chance and he slept with his fathers and he lived a good old age and slept with his father and he lived a good old age and slept with his father we travel all the time i have never feared death in my life are you listening to me why we live in a hostile environment we preach and we walk among people all kinds of people i've gone to yola i've gone to maiduguri i went to maiduguri on road i missed my flight i went on road on a friday and we started the journey in the afternoon You need the word of God to come alive in your spirit. I am convinced that no man can kill me until my assignment is over. This is a revelation I have given to myself. If it were death, I would have died since. Are you listening to me? You don't know the story of my life. If you know the story of my life, you will know that the word of God is not a mistake. I was diagnosed of fungal infection. My head was literally rotting. Are you listening to me? My mother is alive. I have classmates. You can ask them. There was no drug that was used on me. Everything. The doctors were tired. 
I moved from teaching hospital to teaching hospital. I've seen the power of God. If you live your life to chance, you will die a beggar in this life. There's no chance in this life. Everything happens as a definite operation of God's principles. I've been hit by a car. Are you listening to me? I've met with armed robbers on the road. I have met demons. What has happened again? All kinds of things. My eyes, my eyes, I have been, that demons have oppressed me. Oh, demons oppressed me for a long time in my life. And today we keep soaring as if Satan does not exist. We live and we move, we plan our activities with no room for Satan. You think it's Satan's will for you to be hearing this word and to be building yourself in grace? See, Paul said we make our boast in the Lord. The problem is there is no other way to communicate this without sounding like you are boasting. I'll never be poor in this life. Never. It's not a confession. It's a present. It's this, I will never, the same way I can never be a woman. That's the exact same way. Never. I can never be a failure in this life. Please don't take it for pride. I am speaking on account of the revelation of my oneness with Christ. You don't need to travel to Dubai or Hawaii for greener pastures. That's nonsense. The Bible says the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down. He didn't mention the name of any country in this world. In green pastures. Green pastures is a spiritual location. Where the word of God gains consistent fruitfulness in your life. Hi. Whatsoever he doeth prospers. Are you following me now? Jacob went to the house of Laban. Suddenly, Laban began to prosper. And this was his testimony. He said, I come to terms with the fact that I have been blessed for your sake. When the ark of the covenant was being restored, it was temporarily kept in Obededom's house. And within that period, Obededom flourished. Listen, kill all of the excuses and all of the things you are putting and take charge from tonight take charge because the earth has been given unto you your finances will not grow a miracle and change one day your health will not change one day demons will not just come are you listening to me things will begin to change the day that you receive as an act of humility what christ has done for you Everywhere you take me, the grace of God will distinguish me. It's not because of me. Esther was scattered among many women, but something separated her. Are you listening to me? Do you believe what I'm teaching tonight? It must have an implication in your life. So you expect the blessings that come to your life on account of your oneness with Christ. Everywhere I go to becomes the Garden of Eden. Why the Garden of Eden? Because that's, that was where God designed for man in the first place. And the Holy Spirit leads you. Your life becomes beauty and glory. Do you believe this? So it is within your power to change your finances. Are you hearing me? Don't say I'm young. Don't say I'm old. Is within your power to stop demons from oppressing your life. It's within your power to speak and expect a manifestation in your life. If I bless you, sir, honestly with all humility, you are blessed. You will see it in your life. Hallelujah. So your life is supposed to have prophetic implications. That anywhere you are, something is about to happen. Let me use the words of Paula Defarasen. 
that everywhere you go, something is about to. Everywhere Jesus went to, you knew that just give a little time, you will hear that something has happened there. He, he, he always, there was a prophetic implication. So anywhere God takes you, because you are one with him, there should be a prophetic implication of your presence. He takes me into a wilderness. I turn that wilderness into a fruitful vine. And I turn that fruitful vine into a forest. Mission accomplished. He takes me to the valley of the shadow of death where there are dry bones. I turn every dry bone into an exceeding great army. Mission accomplished. The Bible says that weak and beggarly men were brought to the cave of Adullam where David was. And David turned those people into mighty warriors. To the time to a point where David said, oh, that I would drink of the pool of Bethlehem. And the Bible says three of those men killed all the armies and went and fetched water and brought for David. He said the men were mighty. They fought with swords and their hands cleaved to the sword. It will not fall. Mastery. You can turn anybody. That's why I don't care who you are. When you sit under this anointing, there is transformation. Your life must change. Because of the prophetic implication of the presence of God. Great men and women like Catherine Kuhlman, William Branham, they understood their oneness and the prophetic implication was across their communities. Hallelujah. And so you speak over your life and you declare. You may look ordinary, but not when you begin to speak. When you begin to speak and declare that I am blessed. Oh, I'm blessed in the city. Blessed in the country. I see no limits. The hand of God is upon me. I see no limitations in my life. The strength of God is at work in me. No weakness. The Bible says none was weak. None was feeble. All through their road in the wilderness. None was sick. None was feeble. Their clothes grew with them. Joint heirs. Joint heirs. Say after me, I'm an heir of God. And a joint heir with Christ. Say I'm a joint heir with Christ. I partake in royalty. I partake in dominion. I partake in prosperity. I partake in divine health. Yes. Yes, you must prophesy this. This must become your confession. On account of what Christ has done. Hallelujah. You must be open to prophecy. And to visions. Why? The testimony of Jesus. Is the spirit of prophecy. And the Holy Spirit is the one who testifies about Jesus. And he lives in you. He is the spirit of prophecy. Quickened in your inner man. And so you can see him. So you can hear. Don't say I can't hear the voice of God. My sheep hear my voice. You plot evil against me. You are only going to frustrate yourself. Because I will climb you and your, your plan and just walk. He prepares a table before me. In the presence of my enemies. Thou anointed my head with oil. The testimony will keep being from glory to glory from glory to glory oh yes from glory to glory you will never hear about a worse tomorrow it's from glory to glory are you listening to me that whatever challenge you face in the midst of that challenge you stamp it and you keep smiling as if you are not seeing anything I believe in the power of the Holy Spirit. I believe in his grace. I believe in who Jesus is. I believe in my oneness with him. Hallelujah. A gentleman here, some groups of young men, I think they were in the occult or something. They used to come for koinonia right from when they were in that occultic thing. And so they came and they were confessing to me. Can I be honest with you? I wasn't even interested in what they were saying. I was going to have a meeting soon. It wasn't an issue. 
whatever the plan is the bible says a thousand shall fall by your side ten thousand see it's a different thing if i have not faced some of these things and i'm talking then it's easy to say he's shouting let me tell you there are few things you have faced in life that i have not faced i tell you with all humility if it's financial stress we have faced it are you listening to me i am not married but we have enjoyed the burden of being real fathers in terms of the financial implication on people in terms of the psychological implication i know that the word of god works you must convince yourself and stop arguing it there are many of you that it has not yet become a reality it's easy to jump in church and to talk that you tell yourself yea do i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i am a partaker of his divine nature if he's a king then i am a king there is no true king without authority hallelujah and what you see the lord doing in our midst is the awe-inspiring hand of god his signature that truly shows that he's the husband of the bride that's why we give him all the glory that's why there's no reason to brag and make noise but I cannot but tell you this is the truth this is your heritage in Christ that when you come into the revelation of your oneness with Christ it doesn't matter whether you walk through the valley of the shadow of death you can change things stop saying things will change start changing them one day in the sweet by and by things will be better when? Our parents said this from the days of their youth. Oh, things will change, I know. Since when you were crawling, things will change. Things will change. Now you're almost getting married, things will change. And what your father didn't tell you, he's now telling you. He's saying, thank God you are now a man. He will change the things. hallelujah I find it very difficult teaching on things like this because the only way to teach about this is to it sounds like you're bragging about it but there's no other way to express it in that truth are you listening to me it's just like looking at your friends and saying I am married you know sometimes you can feel am I hurting them but is it a lie Or that they made your father a senator and you say my daddy just became a senator some things as painful as it is to convey them they are the truth Jesus said before your father Abraham I am it wasn't a lie he said I am the bread of life I am the living water I am the door. I am the good shepherd. How about Jesus? He will see people who were older than him. And he was saying, my little children. <laughs> see, see. I hope you realize that everybody, the disciples that were older than Jesus were older than him by more than two years because all his colleagues two years and below were killed when he was small so peter peter was married because jesus healed his mother-in-law so peter he was rebuking satan out of peter and he called them little children a man who was born in their presence this is what pain the people they say is this not joseph's son enough is enough you this small boy just like they look at us and speak and say how can a small boy like you say you are prophesying to people paul said i am what i am by the grace of god i am what i am in as much as we try to be humble he has anointed us we cannot deny it as much as we try i am blessed I am victorious is the truth from God's standpoint. We are a blessed people. Accept it. And give him glory for it. We are dressing nice. 
Let God be praised. Hallelujah. It is because of what Christ has done. I apologize if we sound proud. Are you listening to me? But I'm challenging you. It is what he gave us. He gave us his an inheritance in Christ. That's why the worshippers minister like angels. They minister with the revelation that they are one. That's why the media keep moving from glory to glory. It's not by chance. That's why the ushers keep moving by from grace to grace. See, listen. That's why we will keep getting sinners saved. Sinners will keep coming and they'll keep getting born again. No devil will stop them. Because it's the authority of Christ that is in motion. Are you listening to me? For four years, we kept meeting while on campus. Many people will come in the night. For four years, some of you never slept between Sunday and Monday. In the rain, in the sun. No chair, no seat, no balloon, no poster. How can you explain that? People criticize us of doing jazz. They criticize us of doing everything. They still say it till today, till tomorrow. People hear of the miracles and they talk. Did that leg really grow? Did that hand grow? Did the SS change? See, in Christ, you are a wonder. You are a sign and a wonder. Are you listening to me? In Christ. When Jangfa stands to prophesy, when Manasseh prophesies, he says, How are these people? These people have taught something. You have robbed something on your. Rob what? Rob what? Hallelujah. Many of you are surprised to see how changed and transformed you are. You gave up on yourself, but see what God has done in your life today. It is a product. I'm challenging you. From tonight, realize that you are a partaker of his royalty. You are not weak. You are not beggarly. You have the power to bless. You have the power to call for things that be not as though they were. Create a future out of the word of God. Your words have prophetic implications. Speak as the bride of Christ that you are. Hallelujah. I say it with all humility. Ask all the leaders. From the time we started Koinonia, by the grace of God and to the glory of the Father above, we have never had a meeting. Ask them. Never had a meeting to discuss and say, where will we get the money for this week? No. Hallelujah. Where is it coming from? Have we ever come to rob your house? Did you ever see me with something on my face? And I say, man, I say, through the fence, this way. Every Thursday night. We are going to pray. Hallelujah. You are one with Christ. His ability flows through you. His wisdom flows through you. I can never meet a challenge in my life. Give me time, I will solve it. Give me time. I will disengage my wisdom and tap into a higher wisdom. Take me anywhere. It doesn't matter what the limitations are. There is an ability in me. I have knowledge. Epignosis is the knowledge of the spirit beyond my age, beyond my level of experience, beyond my exposure. When I speak to you, I engage the ability of the spirit. If I bless you, you are blessed. Hear me. It's not because my name is Joshua Selman. That is your heritage in Christ. That is your heritage in Christ. You can bless. You can speak. Prophesy. You're tired of sickness. Tell yourself, I refuse sickness. I refuse it. Stop giving excuses for it. Every time you have ideas and projects, nothing is coming in your head. Lay hands and say, I engage the ability of the spirit bigger than my own. You are in class and a cause is threatening you. Get angry. 
Many of you are afraid of your exams. There are sicknesses that come when you are about to write your exam. Many of you have already bought all the drugs. You have arranged them. Many of you are already worried now. Where will I get the money to buy provisions during exams? And you have started thinking. You have, you have been typing text for three days. Hiding it in your draft. About the kind of lie you will give your parents to send you money. You say, ah, my father knows. I used this one last time. Where will you change and believe the word of God? Let God be true. And let every man be a liar. Do you not believe that God can move men? To bless you. Hallelujah. Your roommate is complaining every time. She has epilepsy. She has epilepsy. Every time you come, you lay your hands and say, How is your epilepsy? Don't just laugh about it. We are going to pray. I'm challenging you. God will never take responsibility for your future to the degree that you should take it. His responsibility is to watch over his word to perform it. Kenneth Hagin, please let me have someone come. Just say sir. Kenneth Hagin, go and read his book, I Believe in Visions. This was his encounter. Jesus was speaking to him. Just stand there. Jesus was speaking to him. Are you listening to me? And suddenly, a demon came in between them. And the demon began to jump. And Jesus kept speaking. Can you imagine? How can a demon come to insult the king of kings and the lord of lords? Jesus kept speaking. And he wasn't hearing Jesus because the demon was shouting and making noise. At a point, Kenneth E. Hagin, he was angry. He felt embarrassed. How can Jesus Christ, the one who died and rose again, he's speaking and a demon is jumping. And at a point by divine illumination, Kenneth Hagin looked at the demon and said, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. And the demon disappeared and left. Hear what Jesus told him. He said, if you did not do anything about it, there is nothing I would have done. Oh God, when will you change my life? The day you accept the fact that you are one with Christ and begin to take your rightful place. In Christ. Hallelujah. This is one of the blessings of prayer. Because it offers you the opportunity. To speak. To hagar. To declare. The Bible says. Job 22 verse 28. It says. And thou shalt decree a thing. And it shall be established unto thee. It said where the word of a king is. There is power words have prophetic implications i don't waste my words because i realize they carry power are you listening to me true believers are not noise makers they understand the prophetic implication of their words the bible says do not say before an angel i made a mistake because their job is to accomplish the words that are spoken by the saints we are going to pray and make some decrees over our lives are you listening to me? From today, realize that you are ruling and you are reigning with Christ. Say after me, I am royalty. I am one with Christ. My presence has prophetic implications. Yes. When you come into a room, your roommates should start dancing and rejoicing. There are some people you can do anything to be roommates with. You can pay for the room and say, come. Somehow you know that their presence carry prophetic implication. Look at how they sought after Jesus Christ. They just wanted his presence in a place. Because his presence carried prophetic implications. Every time I go to a house or I go everywhere, I am conscious of his presence. And so when I step in and sit down, I know that the king of glory is sitting. As I speak, I am his ambassador. I am his bride. He is committed to back me up. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 12. He says, amplified. He says that God is alert and active. Watching over his word to perform it. Hallelujah. There are implications 
of being a joint heir with Christ. That you have the righteousness of Christ and you are the righteousness of Christ. Say after me, I am the righteousness of Christ. Above condemnation. Above guilt. Yes. This is God's present reality. Above guilt. Satan cannot look at Paul and say, Saul, you used to persecute the church. Paul was so free of guilt that he could say his testimony and go and sleep about it. He said, I, Paul, used to persecute the church. And he didn't feel bad about it. He went and slept. The greatest proof that you have conquered an issue is that you can talk about it freely. Are you listening to me? Divine health is your heritage. It's your heritage in Christ. I emphasize divine health from your mind, from your spirit. Are you listening to me? You have headache when you are writing exams. Someone, I heard someone gave a testimony some weeks ago that used to sleep in the exam hall. Many of you don't sleep. You have all kinds of pills in your house. You have to take five or six. You are less than 25. You are already taking pills as if you are 70 years. While the Bible says the age, their age will be like the age of a tree. Hallelujah. I'm not against medication. Don't, don't take me wrong. I'm only challenging you not to be complacent over things that are taking the place of the word of God in your life. Are you listening to me? You are doing your project and there's no idea. Your lecturer calls you dull. Say, Holy Spirit, I may be dull in myself, but let's work together and shock this man. Let him know there is a wisdom. He said, I will give you a wisdom and a mouthpiece that your enemies will not be able to resist nor gain say. You are going for your defense, you are fidgeting. The Bible says when you stand before them, you shall not be afraid of what to say. For in that very same hour, it will not be you speaking, but the spirit of your father. Hallelujah. When you stretch your hands to bless a man, they look ordinary. You just add Eba with it, yes. But it has prophetic implications. That when you lay your hands upon this lady and say, sweetheart, you are blessed. Suddenly, the heavens, remember the meeting last week, the heavens begin to shift and to change. To accommodate what you have spoken. Hallelujah. There are things in our lives that we have left the responsibility for God. Every day I keep speaking. I say I'm established as a man. I'm established. If you're waiting for your job to establish you, be sure you'll be established at age 50. I've said it here. Let me challenge the guys before we pray. How much is one block? Have you asked? How much is one block? How much? Eh? 200? 110 naira. How many of them do you, how much is the salary you will collect net? Aside from tight and your parents and all that. The moment you get a job, the hands that are waiting to receive the salary will run you in deficit. Your father, your mother, all the people that you are going to bless. And those people, you will bless them legitimately. Hallelujah. Marriage right now is like a building project. You build foundation and then you breathe in. You rest. And then, when these people that carry scaffold for building, there's something they say, oh, Jeve, hey. And then they say, oh, yeah, let's go. And then they move. <laughs> Except God helps you. Except you come into alignment. Do you realize the prophetic implication of creating your future by speaking? This is not about being a Pentecostal. This is God's weapon. Kings reign by their words. If it is true that you are a partaker of God's divine nature, then it is your job to begin to paint your destiny in the place of prayer. That's why, see, prayer is not just a ritual to feel spiritual and to fall. It is God's tool for spiritual architecture. You build your life. 
I don't just allow anything happen in my life and then you say whatever will be will be. Let me tell you the truth is what you don't want that will be. When you leave a farm without plowing it, something will grow. What's the name? What did you define with in your primary science? Some of you jump class. What is it called? Unwanted plants. They are plants, but they are unwanted. So tonight I'm challenging you that you are a joint heir with Christ. You must tell yourself, I refuse to die until my assignment is over and I will transit with dignity and honor. Satan will tell you, you are the one that has the big mouth to say this. Every time he tells you, remember the story. Where's Tosin? One more time, please come again. Remember the, all of you look at her so that as you pray, I face every time Satan wants to speak. Remember, the bully in my story is Satan. I'm speaking a parable now. You are not like the disciples of old. You are supposed to ask me to interpret. And then I'll say the bully is Satan. The husband is the husband man. Hallelujah. Although she has been married into royalty, her lack of knowledge or taking steps in that regard still crippled her. Do you know that every time we accuse God, God feels very bad on the throne because he ever remains faithful. Are you listening to me? You must rise up. The Bible says arise. You must arise before you shine. Arise. Shake up the dust. Tell yourself, the Lord, according to Hebrews 2, has put all things. Where? Where? Where is Satan? Where is poverty? Where is sickness? Where is failure? You must believe it. Don't just say, Kai, this coin on here, we are behaving like children. You, you better take it seriously. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Rise up on your feet. Come on, just pray in the spirit for a while. Pray in the spirit for a while. Walk around. Walk around. Come on. Walk around. Zebra non zebra di bondi ne balsa tali brada sa sabre di ba katali ba kore ba sa tali ba di ne balsa sabre di ba ne pas ne kopari ne bakatala ba do bre di ba sa tada ne bakapoza si kata engre kete bakeshe ke ne balsa kari katali ba kore ba di ke balsa tada bre in the spirit charge up your spirit man because we are about to prophesy we are about to decree we are about to establish come on walk around walk around pray all things she has put all things in subjection, all things, poverty, failure. My prosperity is under my control. My destiny. She Hallelujah. Listen. All of you listen, please. Let me teach you how to change things in life. Let me teach you how to change things. Many of you don't know how to change things in the spirit. 
let me teach you. It's not just about blindly praying in tongues. Let me teach you something. Do you know what the Bible calls Yazar? The power of creative imagination. Are you listening to me? Every time you are praying in tongues and you are praying to the end that you want to establish something in the spirit. Are you listening to me? As you are praying in tongues, employ the power of prophetic imagination. Put that limitation before your eyes. Are you listening to me? And pray squarely like a priest. If you are speaking against health or sickness, see it. See yourself rising in health. Are you listening to me? And then you will begin to be conformed to what you are seeing. If you are speaking about your finances, begin to see the new you walking in finances, in grace, in glory. Don't just pray blindly and allow your mind to roam around. Go ahead and pray in the spirit. Come on, pray. Pray in the spirit. Charge your spirit, man. Because we are about to prophesy. We are about to decree. We are about to establish. All things, all things, under his control. Hallelujah. 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 Listen. One more time, let me read Hebrews chapter 2, verse 8. Thou hast put all things. Pick up your Bible because you are going to personalize it. I am in control. No matter how things get, I am in control. I am in control. Yes. 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 You are not out of control. Say, I'm in control. No matter how bad things are, I am in control. I'm in control. You're not see. Listen, listen. Hold on. Hold on, please. Hold on. I know we like saying God is in control. Hallelujah. That is right. But now, when you say I am in control, you are not replacing God. Are you listening to me? What you are saying is that, look, as a king, no matter what it is, it's not enough to make me stand up from my throne. I am in control. The whole earth is still in chaos. Jesus is still seated on the throne. Are you listening to me? We are going to read the A part of Hebrews chapter 2, verse 8. Hallelujah. We are going to read it up to the part that it says, He left nothing that is not put under him. Everywhere there is him, you are going to put your name. Not me. Me is not your name. Are you listening to me? Are you ready now? Want to read verse 8. Thou hast put all things in subjection to Joshua Selman's feet. For in that you put all things under Joshua Selman, you left nothing that is not put under him listen how many things are within your control listen 
the word under your feet simply is a prophetic language it was an ancient language that meant you are in control how many things are you in control of your finances your health now you are going to prophesy are you listening to me you're listen you're going to prophesy in the name of the one that you are in oneness with begin to call forth your health your finances wisdom Prophesy, I am in control. Shake up the I in the name of Jesus. I am in control of my environment. Of everything that happens around me. Hallelujah. I am in control. I refuse to be sick. I am a sickness. I refuse poverty. I am in control. In the name of Jesus. My presence carries a prophetic implication. Prophesy. Prophesy. I call for finances. In the name of Jesus, wisdom, 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 the spirit of revelation, insight, power, advancement, from glory to glory, I am well favored. I am honored. Oh, hallelujah. I am the head, not the tail. Above, not beneath. Above, not beneath. Above, not beneath. Above, not beneath. Above, the lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. I have a goodly heritage. I am not weak and beggarly. He has called me one of his Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, many of you, on account of your oneness with Christ, you have suffered, literally. Why will you not be glorified on account of your oneness with Christ? Many of you, on account of your oneness, you have been criticized. On account of your oneness, you have experienced it. Why will you not be honored on account of your oneness? We like suffering for Christ. We run away from being honored by Christ, for Christ, and with Christ. Hallelujah. Now, you're going to speak to things. Listen, you are not praying to God. Are you listening to me? You are wearing your kingly crown, and you're going to begin to decree. The Bible says in Job 22, 28, And thou shalt decree a thing, and it shall be established. Listen. He told Job, he said, Job, has thou commanded thy morning? Have you spoken to the atmosphere to respond according to the word of God? The Bible says, the Lord stands in the congregation of the mighty. And then he begins to speak from there. We are going to decree, listen. You are going to give boundaries to everything called evil in your life. Are you listening to me? You're going to draw a line. The Bible says oppression shall be far from thee. It is within your power to speak. Now is not the time to stare at your neighbor. Now is the time to speak. Tell yourself, death, you are under my feet. Failure, 
sickness. Prophesy for yourself, for your family, for your family. No death, no sickness. Prophesy. Your words have prophetic implications. Speak to the atmosphere. Impregnate the womb of the morning. Let the atmosphere be pregnant with the words that you speak. Your words have prophetic implications. Make sure your Hallelujah. 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 Are you ready to speak over your exams? Now that you know who you are, are you ready to prophesy? Listen. Listen. You're going to call all your courses one by one. Are you listening to me? One by one. And declare. And say, open up unto me. Open up. Listen. You're going to receive wisdom. Insight. Favor. Come on, begin to pray. Prophesy. The time has come. Arise. The time has come. Prophesy. Prophesy. Call yourself the head, not the tail. Prophesy. You are both. You are both. You are both. Prophesy. No missing script. No missing script. Prophesy. No victimization. No victimization. Prophesy. Favor. Favor. In every cause. Favor. Favor for you. Prophesy. The words have prophetic implications. Prophesy. A makeup test. Makeup test. Prophesy. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord declared to us this year that it's a season of great grace and glory. Listen, these are not imaginary spiritual things. I need you to know that we're not drinking tea when the word just came on our head. Are you listening to me? 
He said, that which I tell you in the secret, declare thou on the mountaintop. You are going to pray for yourself. This is not for your neighbor. Are you listening to me? Invoke it from the spirit. And say it's a season of great grace, glory, honor, a distinguishing. Come on, prophesy. Speak it. I step into unusual honor. Unusual grace, unusual grace, unusual favor, unusual grace. Hey, hey, Grace, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, shut up, shut up. I expect favor. I expect glory. I expect grace. I expect it in my life. I look forward to it. Yes. I am like a well watered garden. Hey, shut up, shut up. Christ lives in me. I have eternal life in my spirit. The blessing is upon me. It speaks everywhere I go. The blessing is upon me. The blessing is upon me. I am a career of the blessing. It is upon me. Hallelujah. The blessing is upon me. Creating the garden of Eden everywhere I go. The blessing is upon me. 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 Hallelujah. Isaiah 60. Just lift your Bible. Isaiah 61, sorry. Isaiah 61. Now Satan, I speak to you. Let this lady go right now. I command... I see movements around your stomach. I command that demonic influence over you to be broken right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let her go now. Let her go right now. In the name of Jesus. Isaiah 61. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Because the Lord had anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. To proclaim liberty to the captives. An opening of the prison to those who are bound. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. And the day of vengeance of our God. To comfort all that mourn. 
to appoint unto those who mourn in Zion to give unto them beauty for ashes the oil of joy for mourning the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called the trees of righteousness the planting of the Lord and then it ends with a dangerous statement it said that he might be glorified that means in these things he will be glorified this is how he is glorified when the sick are healed when the captives are free when the garment of praise is given for the spirit of heaviness then he is glorified he said God is doing all of these things not just because your name is Joshua he's doing it that he might be glorified that's why we are singing that song I glorify your name so when we sing it he begins to heal he begins to bless so that he will be glorified the spirit of God is in this place tonight and I see different kinds of sicknesses and challenges but I need you to know that God is going to surprise you tonight the spirit of the Lord is upon me listen to me Jesus was speaking to the disciples in John chapter 10 and verse 10 he said the thief cometh not but to steal to kill and to destroy say after me to steal to kill and to destroy the thief comes to steal satan has always been in the ministry of destroying men you can look at a life and know whether or not satan has passed through that life when satan passes through a life he leaves that life with sickness oppression poverty all kinds of trauma and our society is full of men and women who are living in fear in bondage in poverty he said the thief cometh not every time you seek him in an environment he steals all the blessings that the lord has apportioned for his people he kills he destroys when satan steps into a family it doesn't matter how hard working they are he wrecks that family wrecks everyone in that family but the bible says in obadiah 21 it says and saviors shall arise from out of zion it says and they shall judge the mount of esau the saviors shall arise men and women who are filled with the spirit of the living god and let me tell you something any gospel that cannot bring people from out of bondage are you listening to me from out of sickness from out of poverty from out of failure and defeat and bring them to a point where they represent the exact counsel of god that gospel is dead is just religion and is powerless we are sick and tired of powerless gospels and motivations he said when i came to you i did not come with the excellency of speech but in the demonstration of power that your faith might not be upon um, the wisdom of man but upon the power of god we live in a world where people are oppressed real oppression there are many of us represented here right now that our families are suffering so much the economic hardship and the economic depression is telling so much on people sickness everywhere and the hospitals are doing their best but they are coming to a point where they are acknowledging the fact that there is only so much they can do there's got to be a voice that will arise there's got to be a generation that will say there is a solution Otherwise, our praying in tongues makes no relevance to the people in the world. Until they see the manifestation of the power of God. That HIV is broken and it bows. That cancer and sickness dies. That deafness and lameness goes. That a deformed heart is not just healed, but a creative one. A new one comes. 
we are not talking of healing we are talking of a brand new one why will you need a, a healing of your heart when you can get a new one hallelujah that oppression from demons will leave and will go genotypes changed when john the baptist said go and ask jesus is he the messiah jesus said go and tell him the blind see the deaf hear the cripples are walking that means this is the manifestation of the kingdom hallelujah and before we begin tonight i want to encourage you everyone listen please you have a responsibility to play the responsibility is that you must believe god the bible says he that cometh unto god must believe that he is hallelujah now it's not the time to sit down and wonder and say can god the bible says they limited god by saying can god make a way in the wilderness now it's not the time to watch other people and just wish now is the time to confront and to conquer and to say this sickness you're leaving me once and for all i don't care the stories they gave you around it now it's not the time to bring out your medical report and keep admiring it tonight is the time where you get angry the bible says woe unto them who are at ease in zion there are many of us who are oppressed by satan in us our, our lives and our families this is a time when you challenge yourself and say lord in this miracle service i'm ready to chart a new course there's no moving forward and coming backward no can i tell you something about satan he hates me very much for this but let me tell you satan is only as powerful to the degree to which your ignorance and disobedience permits him to be are you listening to me satan is only as powerful to the degree that your ignorance in the word of god or your disobedience to applying the principles that bring the blessings permit him but jesus said i saw satan fall like lightning you see i didn't say i am seeing him falling i saw it it's past he has fallen hallelujah and so you must believe god tonight many of us are carrying requests some of them absolutely impossible situations but can you take your eyes off those things and say lord i know i know that you are able many of us have gone to the hospital again and again and again and again and the doctors have said you would live with this i've shared my testimony again and again I had a fungal infection that affected me for a great portion of my life there was no hospital i didn't go to no kind of medication everything didn't work and god healed me by the power of his spirit so i know that miracles exist take away that religious spirit and those demonic teachings that many have indoctrinated people with that the era of miracles have passed because the faith life is a miraculous life you've got to take away that mentality and say lord i believe don't just wish and say lord if you want that's a demonic teaching for it is the father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom get angry with poverty get angry with your family members begging and crying from hand to mouth moving up and down when you get dissatisfied in your spirit then you are ready to receive a miracle get ready to act upon the word when you hear the word and you receive the word you receive it into your spirit and enforce it by faith hallelujah this is why you came tonight i prayed a prayer and i told god I said lord we don't just want a few people five six seven people receiving miracles and breakthroughs in their lives if that's all we get tonight we have failed 
for every time the waters is being stirred whoever jumps into it and can i tell you something the waters is no longer stirred once it's stirred as much as your faith will want it to be stirred i have my requests that are put before god and i'm coming here very seriously to take the things that god has apportioned for me are you listening to me and so i'm challenging everyone inside and outside you've got to connect open up your spirit now it's not the time to be distracted let me tell you something one encounter tonight can change your life forever are you listening to me meetings like this are very prophetic and are very sensitive one encounter from god can change your life forever one encounter with his anointing can set you free of any kind of terminal disease lose concentration away from satan forget about satan satan is not the issue tonight your faith connecting and let me challenge you do not allow satan deceive you and lie to you and say you are so bad and your life is so terrible you cannot receive a miracle everybody jesus healed in the bible was not born again he didn't heal one person who was born again because the holy spirit had not come upon them but like blind Bartimaeus, if you can say thou son of david have mercy upon me tonight you will experience the power and the glory of god god is going to be doing some dramatic things in this place and i'm encouraging every one of you to open up your spirit so that you will not just waste your time and you'll not just be a ceremony that you came for miracle service it's not a name it's an experience are you listening to me where god upgrades your life and takes you to a point where your life is nothing short of beauty and glory hallelujah his presence is in this place strong and mighty to heal to deliver to transform to set free the thief cometh not jesus is not the author of sickness hear me you must convince yourself take away that devilish mindset that says god gave me the sickness to test me no if he gave you the sickness why are you here to be healed jesus cannot bring sickness upon you to test you the bible says god is love hallelujah so tonight you must take responsibility i am ss because my family members are ss no way make up your mind and take responsibility and say lord tonight i lay it once and for all not healed now and then you're back into sickness many of us have suffered delays in our lives when you look at you you know that there are certain levels in life that you would have accomplished now is the time to place a demand and say lord by the spirit you are taking me to that plane recovery restoration there are many of us that the lord has spoken certain blessings to our lives that we are supposed to see but we have not seen it now is the time to place a demand and challenge the powers of satan that there be a manifestation of those things that god has spoken there are many of our family members that have suffered so much suffered in their job places everything they lay their hands to do dies they start a business it dies everything it works for others but when it gets to your turn or that of your family members it dies from the beginning it was not so and tonight we are partnering with the holy spirit and believing that god will take us to that position listen challenge yourself that something about your life hear me challenge yourself that something about your life must change i'm trying to provoke you by the spirit so that you will know and realize 
that you can take this it's it's within your reach you must get angry enough get full of faith enough hallelujah listen don't leave this place tonight do not leave this place tonight without a tangible miracle for your life are you listening to me refuse it refuse it place a demand and say no way i'm not stepping out of this place with that sickness i'm not stepping out with that poverty an idea must come upon my spirit i'm not stepping at this level in the spirit i'm not living at this level of grace lift up your voice and pray inside and outside Raise a cry, even as we prepare the ground. Place a demand. 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 E Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Now listen. There's someone here, you had a dream. And you saw them piercing you. They put a spear as though to kill you. Who is that person? There's someone here, they trust a spear. Come, quickly. But Satan cannot have a place over your life. The devil is a liar. There's no... There's, let me tell you something. Tonight is zero tolerance with Satan. Zero tolerance. Zero tolerance. When you get angry and get wild in your spirit, you will find out that Satan is not as strong. They trust you with despair. Come out. They trust you with despair. While you were sleeping, it was so real you woke up with the pain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm seeing a lady. Um, your elder sister is. I'm seeing the number 34. I believe she's 34 years. They've been praying for her for her marriage. Who is that? 34 years. Your elder sister. 34 years they've been praying for her who is that person come exactly 34 years am i right that's her age they've been praying for her the lord says i should tell you that before the end of this year she's going to get married yeah. write it and go and tell her don't even know her her age is exactly 34 years that before the end of this year i pray in the name of jesus christ that this word will find expression upon the heart of obedience in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. James. James. Here in the name James. James. For I will uphold James. Who is James? Make sure you don't feel emotional about these words. If it's not, you go back to your seat. Your James, come says for i will uphold james that's what the lord says for i will uphold james for you have suffered many things but in this season the lord is going to be bringing great restoration look at me look at me only be a man of faith you have you love god but there is so much doubt in your heart i need you to know that god is more than able god is more than able to help you he's more than able to bring every word that he has spoken to your heart there are many things he wants to show you but you must learn to be away from people and stay with the spirit of god are you listening to me you must learn to be away from people and lord i pray in the name of jesus that there be great grace upon my brother i break away that spirit and that limitation of fear i break away that limitation that will not allow you to do the things that god wants you to do i break it away from your life even right now in the name of jesus christ come I see a lot of oppression in your family. A lot of oppression in your family. And that's what I see. I'm going to pray for you right now. And not only will God set you free. He will set your family members free. I see your mom. And I hear the mom, April. She's supposed to go through a very, very uncalled for. A challenge that is uncalled for. In the month of april but the lord sets her free tonight you believe that in the name of jesus i break the power of satan over your life right now in jesus name and even for your mother mm, the anointing of the spirit is strong upon you can you just hold my hands just touch make contact with my hands in the name of jesus be set free now by the power of the holy spirit for you and for your mother in the name of jesus i see a chain over your head living now let it go i command that chain go in the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah come the lord says look at me 
that I should set you free from fear. For there are many fears in your heart, said the Spirit of God. He has not given you the spirit of fear, but of love, of power, and of a sound mind. Hold my hands in the name of Jesus. Can you hold it with both of your hands? Hmm. Hold it with both of your hands if you can. The anointing of the Spirit is flowing through you. Fear, you're a demonic spirit. I pray that you let this lady go in the name of Jesus. I take authority over fear in the name of Jesus. And Jimmy, the Lord says, I should prophesy to you that beginning from the month of March, you are entering a fearful dimension of wealth and prosperity. That's what the Lord says, I should tell you. A fearful operation of wealth and prosperity. Fearful operation. Ideas will begin to come by the Spirit. Calls, calls from many people. By the grace of God, God will show you things. From the month of March, you are stepping into an unusual level of financial prosperity hallelujah call that lady abigail come i saw your eyes enlarging in the spirit i saw your eyes growing bigger i was wondering why and the lord says increase vision you will step into an unusual level of vision just look at me if you can just look at me as best as you can the power of god is so strong upon you increased unusual level of visions beginning right now the portals of heaven will be open to you i want you as much as you can just look at me there's fire leaving my eyes and entering me in the name of jesus an increased level of supernatural visions in the name of the lord jesus christ supernatural visions even by the power of the holy spirit you step into a great dimension of seeing seeing even by the spirit seeing even by the spirit come my brother look at me there is no other way there is no other way you can be blessed in this life outside of jesus christ are you listening to me there is no other way and if you do not trust him everything that you trust will fall and will crumble and you'll be left with nothing the lord calls you into a real relationship tonight and god says you should lay aside everything that is not him and begin to press for him in sincerity and truth do you understand this is what gives satan a foothold over your life hold my hands i pray for you right now that over those demonic dreams and manifestations of satan now be free by the power of the Holy Ghost. This comes in. A great vessel indeed. For the Lord will use you. 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 I see strong grace coming upon you. The Lord will use you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Look at me. Free yourself from religion. That's what the Lord says. There are many revelations you have in your mind that is not producing results. You have criticized too many things. Now is the time to begin to embrace the things of the Spirit. That's what the Lord says. Lord, take him to that dimension. That new realm of grace, even by the power of God. I erase the grip of religion over your life. Open up yourself and begin to receive of the fullness of the Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Look at me. For many people think you will not amount to anything. But the Spirit of God says, I set you apart and you will become a great one. Even as the stone that has been rejected, I will make you a great one. Are you listening to me? I see a crown being put upon your head right now as I'm holding you. Father, that you fulfill your word right now. Come, 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 come. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. See, leave fear. Fear will not bring much to your life. It will only put you in misery and forget about the things that people are saying god is separating you to use you are you listening to me there's one of your friend i see he has a mark the lord is saying leave him leave him love is a command relationship is not leave him are you listening to me and get serious with god god bless you look at me do you have an elder sister where is she she's married no no, no. i mean there's um do you have anyone staying in abuja 
Abuja. I see one of your people who is staying in Abuja. Um, the Lord says, hear what I say, except the Lord builds a house, the laborers labor in vain. The laborers labor in vain. And that you tell them to commit their all unto God. There's no giving God part and holding part. Are you listening to me? God bless you. Rampia, please come. Run. For I see the Lord bringing real blessings to your family. Real blessings to your family. Um, the Lord is bringing a refreshing. Please put a little water in that cup and just give me. I want to do exactly what I'm seeing in the spirit. The Lord says, just a little. He says he's bringing refreshing to your family. And the Lord says, this is, there's no ritual around it. Before you package water tomorrow and start making madness out of it. This is simple prophetic instruction. Go ahead and drink it. Finish it. Just do what I'm asking you to do. The Lord says he's bringing a refreshing. In exactly two minutes, that water you have taken will become fire in your spirit and in your bones. In exactly two minutes from now. Just hold on there. It will become fire. God will give you ideas by the spirit for was it not water that elijah poured upon the sacrifice that the fire came and licked it up there is nothing that is done that cannot be proven from scripture hallelujah In exactly two minutes said the lord it will become strong fire i see a formation of it already and i'm telling you the truth it will set you apart it will bring favor even to your younger sister that's what i'm seeing your younger sister your younger sister having this great fire thank you jesus christ mercy mercy a lady with the name mercy who are you mercy come you're also mercy Deborah, Deborah Maida, if she's here, the Lord says it's time for you to step up. Where is she? She's not around. Deborah Maida, it's time for you to enjoy the blessings. I'm seeing you holding a big bag and you are going to the farm to pick a lot of fruits. That's what God is showing me. A very big bag. Humanly speaking, it's not something you can carry. But you need to pick the fruits. They are falling from the tree. I believe God is signifying a season. That it's time to enter into a lot of things. Yahweh. 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 The Lord just said I should stretch my hands towards you. Yahweh. 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 Yahweh, 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 Yahweh of oil. The Lord says it's called the oil of gladness. The oil of gladness being poured upon you. Have I not said God is no man's debtor? The Lord says He will repay you. I see oil being poured upon your head. That's what I'm seeing right now. Oil being poured upon your head. Your name is mercy. Your name is mercy. Look at me. Rise out of timidity. For great is your strength, said the Spirit of God. Rise out of timidity. Great is your strength. I sense an anointing to change genotypes. That's what I'm sensing right now. Please get set. I sense an anointing to change. Don't take it for granted. I sense an anointing to change genotypes. I'm about to speak and prophesy the word of the Lord. Right now in the name of Jesus. Out of her. That demonic spirit of fear. You will not hide in her soul. Come out of her right now. I set you free. In the name of Jesus. Be free by the power of the Holy Ghost. Mercy.
listen find a community of believers you can't be in and out find a real community of believers they will help your growth the Lord I don't know what it is but the Lord says I should tell you I will show you mercy I will show you mercy hold my hands I will show you mercy please hold it with both of your hands if you can I will show you mercy that's what the Spirit of God says receive the mercy of the Lord the mercy of the Lord coming like fragrance I see like perfume upon you the Lord says it's my mercy the fragrance of the Lord upon you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ your name is mercy your name is mercy you will be a mother to many look at me look at me the Lord says I should tell you you will be a mother to many you will do things you never imagined that you could do you will do things you never imagined that you could do mercy the Lord says I should tell you you will speak over kings it will speak over kingdoms it will speak over territories a scepter is given upon your hand that's what the Lord says a scepter is given you will speak over kings you will speak over kingdoms you will speak over territories a scepter is given upon your hands in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah madam please I saw something coming like a balloon and then coming towards you and then I saw a sword while I was ministering I saw something like a sword and it just pierced it and it it went down and in my mind I was wondering I was I didn't really didn't understand and I kept quiet and then the Lord says I should tell you that the rod of the wicked will not fall upon the lot of the righteous lest they dip their hands in iniquity the Lord says I should tell you that he's going to wipe away your tears that's all I hear the Lord says I should tell you that you have cried many cries but that in this season he's going to wipe away your tears does this make sense to you what I'm saying I want to pray for you Lord in the name of Jesus according to the power of your word by the power of the Holy Spirit that you wipe away her tears you have migraine or somebody around your family i see somebody i'm seeing um yes signs of my you upon your head you'll be healed right now 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 not later right now in the name of jesus i pray by the power of the spirit of god be set free be set free <laughs> be set free in the name of jesus christ healed from my grain now I command every genotype SS hear me inside and outside if you are SS if you are SS right now I change your genotype to AA in the name of Jesus I change it to AA in the name of Jesus receive it by the power of the Holy Ghost Receive it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Every SS, every AS, change now in the name of Jesus. Everyone with heart condition, if you have a problem with your heart, come out quickly. Inside and outside, either a hole in your heart or something pertaining your heart. Please run out quickly. Let's hurry up so we can conserve time. A heart condition, a confirmed heart condition. Please come out. Oh, holy, holy, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Holy, you are holy, blessed is 
I'm going to pray that the Lord will give you a brand new heart. I'm not praying for healing. You're not going to be healed. A creative miracle. Just believe it whether you understand what I'm saying or not. Are you listening to me? As my hands come upon you, I'm going to be releasing the power of God. The power of God. Now, a brand new heart upon you. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart. A brand new heart. Now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in the name of Jesus. A brand new heart in a brand new heart. 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 A brand new by the power of the Holy Ghost, a brand new heart in the name of Jesus Christ. A brand new heart. Where's Mariam? Mariam Adese. Where's she? Mariam. For the Lord says that He will wipe your tears and cause you to laugh. Because of the testimony of your commitment in his house. Hey, that's what the Lord says I should tell you. For I will wipe your tears and I will cause laughter. That laughter will gush out like springs of living water. My God, let this grace come in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You are, your name is Miriam. Why are you here? For a heart condition. Okay, lay your hands. You not only have a heart condition i see that there's something wrong i don't know whether it's your back or something that's what i'm seeing am i right okay i'll pray for you now look at me just hold my hands in the name of jesus i command every bent bone around your back to be straightened let it grow back to complete shape now the power of God is coming upon your back. I command in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every malfunctioning of your body be gone now in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Please, can that lady, I hope someone can help me identify her. A lady standing almost directly under that fan. She's holding her hands like this. A lady with dark. You looking at me. Come. Yes, you. The Lord is healing all kinds of things. No. This, the one at the back. Come. But you who is going back, come. going to be a great leader and the Lord is going to commit great wealth into your hands that's what God is saying I should tell you he's going to commit great wealth into your hands but that it be used for his kingdom that it be used for his glory
the Lord loves you and he wants to use you for his glory you must give him full expression he must find full expression you love him so much but I hear cares 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 you're laden by many cares and the Lord really wants you to give him or hold my hands if you will Lord I pray ah the strong manifestation of the spirit you will never be the same from tonight fire on you now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ you will never be the same again in the name of the Lord Jesus you will never be the same again in the name of the Lord Jesus there is a strange oil of God's favor that is bringing upon your life from tonight is a strange manifestation of the favor of the Lord a strange manifestation of the favor of the Lord hallelujah a strange manifestation of the favor of the Lord the lady sitting come very quickly before please as you're standing in this atmosphere I'd like you to know that God is meeting your needs are you listening to me God is meeting your needs this lady that lady with you come yes look at me hold my hands you may not even know how much you have been oppressed by Satan but I command victory for you now in the name of Jesus Christ I command victory great victory great victory in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord will make you a very influential person for his kingdom it will give you a word upon your mouth you may not look like it right now but the Lord says he's going to do this he will give you access to kings and he will grant you grace one of the things that you will have in your life is courage and boldness courage as bold as a lion the Lord is going to give you great boldness hold my hands if you will Lord I pray that this great grace and courage will come upon her even by the power of the Holy Spirit that you do unusual and supernatural things even for the kingdom in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ unusual supernatural things for the kingdom in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ Aaron the Lord is stepping you into a strange level of blessings a strange level of blessings you have served the kingdom and you have served many the Lord says I will now cause men to serve you I will cause men to serve you hold my hands Lord I pray that this grace and this oil this great anointing will come upon him that he will serve many in the name of the Lord Jesus Onu come the exact same word God is saying to Aaron that's what he's saying to you that because you have served many he will cause many to serve you he will cause many to serve you he will cause many to serve you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ he will cause many to serve you please be alert as we minister if you have not written your prayer request please write them very quickly thank you Jesus I like your heart just to be tuned to the Lord as we minister there's such an unusual prophetic anointing in this place that God wants to reach out to people please the lady that apostle just ministered to with the yellow shirt come and the next person by you come the other lady with the green shirt come the both of you thank you spirit of god thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus god says you're going to carry my message of love to many people i see an experience that you had last year towards the last quarter of last year that brought hurt and condemnation to you is an experience that i cannot talk about but you know it right you know what i'm talking about god says he healed that wound today Jesus says he loves you and he brings healing to that wound and you carry his message of love to many people God bless you I hear God says I'm stepping into your family I'm bringing a message and I'm bringing restoration that's the word I hear God says God says he's bringing a restoration and a healing to a relationship between your mom and one of your elder sisters look at me Omar am I talking God says he's healing a challenge that your sister and your mom has been experiencing in their relationship. 
I mean one on one there have been some bridges that have been, they have experienced in their relationship and God says because there has not been oneness and unity it has hindered your family God says he's healing that wound tonight and your sister will be restored back to your mom and God says it will be a new season of restoration even financially for your family in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ Abigail please come is Sanet here please come so that we can just save time please come as I'm calling as the Lord is showing me as I'm calling you just come just come just come Abigail the Lord gave me Abigail aren't you Abigail please come the Lord shows me I see a scene that had happened before that the Lord shows me and in this scene I saw your father standing somewhere in a particular land and I could see cassava growing in that land I don't know but it looked to me like somewhere in the southwest part of this country is that where you came from from where okay and and I saw that there was a dispute a challenge about this land and I saw that certain course certain enchantment were released please keep playing were released over your father and your family to bring hot to bring hot and to cause misfortune for your family and even death that's what I hear the Lord says where is your father right now nothing is working out nothing is working out nothing is working out that cause from that land God says he will heal it God says he break that yoke of the enemy but are you aware of a challenge a dispute that has to do with the land It was something that their father left for all of them. Yes, and he left it for them. But there was a cause that he spoke over his life, and that's what is responsible with you know with the misfortune that your family is experiencing that now that nothing is working for that. I declare that there shall be no death. I reverse that cause of the wicked one, and I declare that the prosperity of God comes to your family. God says he brings healing to your body and perfection. Perfection. Perfection, 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 perfection to your body in the name of Jesus Christ. I see the Lord touching your body. I see a challenge that had been that always caused constant health challenge for you. Something connected to your blood that affects your bone and bring weakness to you around your joint and your bone region. Am I talking? God says He's going to step into there and bring total healing. Receive it now. Receive the healing power of God. The anointing is already on you. Receive it. Be free. Your blood and your bone and all your joints is healed this night in the name of Jesus Christ. What's your name? Abigail. Just stand. The Lord is not giving me a word for you yet. Grace, the Lord says, I should tell you that he's going to intervene in your academics. I see God says he's going to raise someone in your department that will fight your cause. And God says you will celebrate and sing songs of joy in the name of Jesus Christ. Watch out. He's a man and that man is not a believer. That's what I hear the Lord says. Sandra, God shows me that a ticket is coming. Not for you, but for your elder sister. She's going to travel out of the country. God says that demonic barrier is lifted tonight. Do you understand? And God says the challenge that has kept her that she has not gone before now is lifted tonight. God says there's going to be a speedy victory that shall come. And your family shall celebrate in the name of Jesus Christ. Shadi, I love you so much. Please just be on your feet. God speaks to me to, for you and your husband. I see a certain challenge and demonic attack that the enemy intends to bring to you, particularly in this season of birth. I get what I'm saying. And the Lord is showing me that this challenge is something that your mom experienced around the season of your birth. You may need to go and ask your mom in case you don't know. Such a demonic attack that came to her during the time of your birth. And you even experienced it in the early years of your life. Am I talking to you? God says that attack shall not rest upon you. The plans of the enemy is to snuff and take away your child. But God says it shall not hold. And we shall laugh when your son comes in the name of Jesus. 
And God says for me to tell you, God says this is a season of financial breakthrough. Watch it within now and the next three months. You see unusual favor and doors that God will begin to open. People that have never given to you before, watch out and see what the Lord will do. And my dear brother Jakes, God says there's nothing that is impossible. God says he will answer the prayer of your mom. God says shortly he will cause her to rejoice. And I even hear the Lord says as I answer this prayer, there shall be celebration and I shall cause the bell of wedding to ring in your family. I'm not talking about you, but I'm talking about your sister. For you it is sure, but I'm talking about your sister. Father, thank you. Olorum Bumi or Olua Bumi, but there's Bumi in the name. If I'm talking to you, please just come. Olorum Bumi or Olua Bumi, but there's Bumi in the name. Are you here? Just come quickly, quickly. Okay, please come. I, 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 I looked at you, and I, and the Lord shows me your father's text. And God shows me that there's a project, like a research work that he's embarking upon. And God says, this work is going to bring honor to him. God says, this work is going to cause him to stand before many great people. And God says, I'm doing a work and I'm bringing health to his body. Health to his body. You know the challenge that your father has been going through. I've never met your father. I've never been to your house. But God says, he's bringing perfection to his health. And this project that I see him working on on his table will bring honor to him. God will use this work to set him before many great men. Go and tell him, health, healing, perfection comes to his body. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord says, trust me and I will lead you. God says for you to trust him and he will lead you. God says, don't trust in your understanding. He said, you have trust in your understanding before now. But this is the time that I want you to begin to trust me. God says, if you will trust me to come up that, out of that relationship, I'll bring rest and peace to you. And God says, I forgive your sister. Tell her that guilt shall no longer hold her hand bound. Tell her that the snare is broken. And tell her that she shall celebrate her wedding soon. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. So take the news to her. It's, it's sanded here. Is anybody by the name Naomi? Naomi. Let me talk about the Naomi so that if you are the one, you come out. This Naomi that the Lord shows me, I see your elder brother who has been running from pillar to post seeking for job. And God simply asked me to tell you that he's releasing that job. And as he released that job, he's going to bring blessing to the family. He's going to be of great help and blessing to the family. If I'm talking about you, just lift up your hands. Where is he now? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. If you, if you have any challenge, I see God healing people with challenge around their legs. I'm seeing bone condition. Or any part of your body you have challenge, maybe from an accident, bone condition. I see God healing that. Quickly, please just come. So we'll pray for you. Bone condition, I see God healing that. I see God healing bone condition. Lord, I pray for her in the name of the Lord Jesus. Is there anyone in your family who has been crying to the Lord for a child? Yes. Who is the person? My sister-in-law. Your elder sister? Sister-in-law. Because I see the Lord says there shall be Amen. the birth of a child. Amen. I see God says he's bringing a child. Amen. For that yoke is broken. Amen. That yoke is broken. Amen. And we declare that the child is born. Amen. We declare that within now the next one year, the Lord gives you a testimony. Amen. In the name of the Lord Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. The people with the bone condition. I want you to just touch that part. Just touch that part where you're having a bone condition. Just touch there. 
we may not have the time to take all your testimonies but just touch the bone condition please minister i just want us to lay hands on them just quickly lord in the name of jesus i declare your need healed heal heal command that bone condition be healed in the name of jesus christ i declare you heal heal let that bone be healed right now in the name of jesus let that bone condition be healed right now in the name of jesus let the bone condition be healed right now right now right now right now right now in the name of jesus right now be healed be healed be healed be healed in the name of jesus if we have laid hands on you please just go back to your seat and check yourself because of time restraint we may not need to take all the testimonies for all of you but we declare you healed you came in with any bone condition touch the place come on healing healing right now in the name of jesus be healed be healed in the name of jesus christ you're healed check it let me take your testimony check it that's every time the bone condition is actually once in a while it's not every time i have problems with my nails sometimes but do you experience it now no i don't your healing is permanent in the name of jesus permanent in the name of jesus christ you have arthritis i see the lord heal somebody with arthritis where the gentleman who is going back to his seat with a bone condition come come perfect in the name of jesus perfect in the name of jesus you are totally healed now 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 in the name of jesus christ so do what you couldn't do before let's take your testimony do what you couldn't do before hallelujah do what you couldn't do before you couldn't do this before Thank you. your healing is perfected in the name of jesus Amen. your healing is perfected in the name of jesus christ you have arthritis come i say the lord heal somebody with arthritis i see the symptoms somewhere around your hand and your leg where you where is that person come quickly arthritis come and be healed thank you father thank you father thank you father mommy you're the one with arthritis are you feeling the pain now yeah with the chest so if you are healed now you will know yes in the name of jesus i curse you spirit of arthritis i release healing 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 in the name of jesus i curse the symptoms go go in the name of jesus you are healed okay check yourself quickly do what you couldn't do before you are healed in the name of jesus i like you to watch something this guy's leg can you see that one leg is shorter than the other if we can have the camera here so the, that this will not be stage managed nobody will lie and say just come can you see it from the side i need you to see it can you see it everybody just look are you seeing it yeah you see that one is shorter now watch this in the name of the lord jesus i command you to grow watch it from your screen watch it grow wow watch it grow. in the name of the lord jesus <laughs> you're feeling a pulling on your leg look at it growing perfect look at this Whoa! that pain needs to go your the problem is usually from the spine and so it causes the leg to be a few inches lower than the normal one now try what you couldn't do before if you can shake your legs as hard do you feel any pain there you feel any pain no i you don't i don't feel complete any. perfection thank you jesus thank you jesus are you coming out for what arthritis on the knee lord we release healing arthritis you are cursed in the name of jesus be healed be healed now 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 in the name of jesus christ check it and do what you couldn't do before do what you couldn't do before you couldn't do this before do it again do 
it again. Do you still feel the pain? You are totally healed. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Go back. You? Okay, you're the one with the hand. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release healing into this hand now. Now, now I cause you arthritis. Go! In the name of Jesus, be healed. Let this hand be healed Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Do what you couldn't do before. Check it. Do what you couldn't do with it before. Hallelujah. Come, 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 come. Do it, do it. Okay, tell us. Could you do this before? Could you do this before? No, no. You are totally healed. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, yeah. go back. I just needed to speak the word. My dad has been going through this condition. For the Lord, she stands for her dad. Let the dad receive the anointing right now. We cause arthritis. We release healing now in the name of Jesus. Amen. I stand for Basiokun. Lord, we release healing to Basiokun wherever he is right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Sanet is not here. The Lord shows me something. Sanet is not here. Thank you, Jesus. You came out. Lord, we cause arthritis from our mom's body and even her grandmother will release healing right now. We cause arthritis. Go! In the name of Jesus, you're here. All right. While this is going on, please ushers begin to collect the prayer requests. Lord, we cause bring out your prayer requests inside right now, and outside. Right now, in the please, name let's do of that Jesus quickly. Christ. Miss Gideon here. Gideon, you are either in agri engineering or agri science. Where I'm hearing the name Gideon in agri. If you are here, come. For what? Lord, bless her, bless her, bless her, bless her. In the name of Jesus, bless her. And Lord, concerning marriage, answer the prayers of her heart right now. Answer the prayers of her heart in the name of Jesus. Okay, just quickly. Not to testify, it's a prayer for my name, prayer for my Okay. I cause this pain, go in the name of Jesus. I release healing now, be healed. In the name of Jesus, do what you couldn't do quickly. I'm healed. Say it. I'm very healed. I'm healed. healed in Jesus' name. Get on, please kneel down. Let's pray for you quickly. God says there's a ministry that He's birthing inside of you. God says that you shall have an assignment of bringing deliverance unto the captives. God says deliverance shall come to them that are bound, even through your hands. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, I ask, let there be a release, let there be an activation of that ministry inside of him. And let that anointing begin to overflow in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Please, if you need papers, ushers have papers. Thank you, Jesus. Anatu, God has a word for you. I see... God doing some things around your mom that pertains to healing in her body. Do you understand? God is bringing healing to her body. I don't know where she is at the moment, but that's what I see. Perfection. Perfection to her body. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Is now quite here, please. If you are here, just come quickly. Or is your mom here? Is your mom here? Is mommy here? Please, so we can walk with time. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Please, let me give them to minister. So we can conserve our time. Hallelujah. Um, Ruben, okay, I saw God giving you um, another dimension of word of knowledge. I see that function in your life. God just showed me that. Hallelujah. Quickly pray for some sick cases now. God showed me. Quickly come out, please, as I mentioned you. I saw um, we praying for cancer patients, okay? If you have people that had cancer or have cancer, please just quickly come out. You're understanding for them. I saw that. You can just line up here. Praise God. Then if you're having um, pains at your back, 
back ache here. Please come. We'll quickly pray with you. Then, people with pains in their right ear. I think there's somebody here with pain in the right ear. Then I saw another person. Your neck is actually your neck. You actually, I think you had a problem carrying a load or something. That's where you got an injury. Just your neck. The three major vertebrae here. Please just quickly come out. Please, sir. Just help me. Please just help me. Hallelujah. Jumi Tosin. God will do some amazing things to you guys in your worship life. I saw, I saw you guys with Ruben. Just the three of you. Okay. God will be doing new things for you in the place of worship. Hallelujah. I'll just quickly pray with these people. Just quickly come as they pray with you. Please just go back to your seat. Hallelujah. And ask. Hallelujah. I wait to I wait to come. As I was sitting there, the Lord showed me. The Lord showed me a vision concerning your father. Stand here. As I was sitting there, the Lord showed me a vision concerning your father. And I see a major promotion is going to come to your father. And I see the Lord bringing honor into the life of your father. And the Lord said he's going to put your... Sorry, I'm seeing something. Don't mind me. He's going to do something very tremendous to your father. He's going to give grant and honor. Put your hands. Father, thank you, Lord. Father, I pray the Lord God. Let it be released for her father in the name of Jesus. My brother there, I see an unusual healing anointing upon you. Come. I see the Lord reason an unusual healing anointing. I actually saw you leaning down, praying. Praying on your, on your bed. Telling the Lord that I actually saw the Lord, I saw a vision as I was talking just now. I saw you kneeling down praying on your bed and asking the Lord that you want him to use, want him to use you greatly. And I see him releasing an unusual healing anointing upon you. Father, I pray that let the anointing intensify in the name of Jesus. Let your anointing upon him, let your anointing, let your anointing, Lord God, be so real and tangible. I'm so interested about a lady, a young person that came trusting the Lord for, a, for fruit of the womb in my right my left hand side trusting the Lord outside then they will flow for a fair I saw if you are, you are here come I just saw a vision somebody on my left and I see the Lord giving you two boys hope you heard me I see the Lord giving you two boys and I see an unusual anointing of God. I saw you making a prayer to God that if the Lord gives you children, you're going to give them back to the Lord. You, ma you made that prayer. Yes, sir. The Lord said he's going to release an anointing upon them and he's going Amen. to use them greatly. Amen. Put your hands in my right hand. Father, thank you, Jesus. I pray. Thank you, Lord. Father, thank you, Lord. I thank you, Jesus. Now, uh, there is somebody that came in here. I saw a young guy in between the age of 13, in between the age of 13, 16, having a terrible demonic attack with a bone. I see a, a young guy, a young guy in between the age of, in between the age of 13, I see a demonic oppression upon you. If you know your head, come out here. If you know your head, your brother, in between the age of 12, 15, 16. Come. I see. I see a, a, a chain. It was a chain I saw. I mean, you find it difficult to sleep. Yeah, sometimes you struggle to sleep, and you find a lot of. Put your. Let me. Father, I've come against every demonic attack of, over his life in the name of Jesus. I come against every demonic attack. I speak freedom upon his life in Jesus' name. Amen. 
Praise the Lord. Now, that, that is uh, a lady outside that has a, a problem with a stomach problem with the lower abdominal mina. Something, it pains around here. If you know you are, you are the one, just come and let me pray for you. It's very chronic pain at your lower abdominal mina here. If you know you are here, come out. Somebody with a very chronic pain outside in the overflow. Somebody in the overflow. In the overflow. Anyone there? Yeah. Come in. Come. Come in. I saw her. That's the very lady I saw. I saw a lady with a very chronic pain. It's like a fibro or I don't know. Just come and hold my hand. I will just declare a word. Excuse me. Man of God, lay your hands. Lay your hands on them. Father, I command every familiar spirit to come out in the Bible. Go! And also, I saw a young lady that came into the meeting with a young guy, a boyfriend of ours. Amen. I saw a young lady sitting in the overflow with a young guy, a boyfriend of ours that came in. They just came in together. The Lord is asking me to warn you to stop engaging, I mean, involving yourself in what you've been. I see a young guy, a young guy, a young lady sitting in the overflow. The Lord is instructing me to really warn you, to warn you to stop what you've been involved. And that is giving you a chance to change and to repent from doing what you've been doing. Amen. Hallelujah. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy. I see God. Please, let's just quickly there was a song that was playing that was oh you you sang it before yahweh please just sing that song when this meeting started i saw god give me a burden for people in the overflow people in the overflow please listen i see god there are some ladies here you were incantations or initiations were done for you by other ladies people in the overflow listen that's the song just be playing I see a lady, you are very small in stature, you are wearing a wine dress. You were initiated, all the ladies that have been initiated in this place by another lady into the occultic, just come out. The power of God is going to bring you out or you come out. God wants to set you free. For some of you, it's your secondary school days, please come. If anybody ever initiated you into anything, please come. In the overflow, Father, reponde balada boko soto balada banda. I command that power of darkness to be broken in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. If you were ever taken to a, an occultist or something, please come out. Father, honor your word in this place. For some of you, because of what happened, at night you have sexual intercourse, usually with strange ladies. I'm seeing such people, such people. In Topele de Bokosa, in Palada Bokosa Tabaya, in Pere de 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 Bosha. Hallelujah. For some of you, it was your parents that took you there. Don't be ashamed. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is setting you free. Please come out. Come out. Come out. Then I heard the name. I was hearing the name Graham Douglas. There is a lady in this place. Your father is extremely wealthy. Extremely wealthy. He travels a lot. He travels a lot. I don't know if you are from the South South. I think there is Anne in your name or something. And I see God wanting to touch your father through you. I think your father is either military or something. 
He's either top military, but he travels a lot. If you are that person, please come out. Please come out. I see another lady. You have phobia for cockroaches. If you are in the same room with a cockroach, you must fall ill once you see it. I don't mean the usual fear. You break out in sweats. If you are that person, please come out. God wants to heal you right here and right now. Right here and right now. You fall sick, very ill. Please come out. I see a PC. Something is wrong with your mother. You can sing. Something is wrong with your mother. She's dead reading. Please come out. Right here. ushers very very quickly now we're entering a very prophetic moment a very prophetic moment in this meeting let's have the prayer requests very quickly a very prophetic moment a very prophetic moment If you've not written your request, don't waste this opportunity. God has given us an instruction inside and outside. Please send your requests. Hallelujah. Can, can you turn it, Aaron? Is it possible? Please turn the requests. We're going to be praying on this request. Whatever it is that you laid as a request, I'd like you to know that the end of it, hear me, the end of it comes, whatever it is. Please, everybody rise up on your feet, inside and outside. I'd like to invite all the servants of God. Please, the ministers of the gospel, can we come as we pray on this request? Hallelujah. Now listen. As we pray on this request, miracles, listen to me, please. Instant miracles. Instant miracles will begin to flow both to you and to your loved ones. Are you listening to me? As we please come up, let's let's come quickly. As we lay our hands in faith, instant miracles. Please call that lady. That lady is not done. God is not done with her yet. There are all kinds of demonic manifestations. She's been initiated into all kinds of things. You want to pray for her. As we pray, everyone join us and pray by faith all over this building, inside and outside. Lord, in the name of Jesus. We release miracles, instant healings, instant deliverances, instant miracles, instant breakthroughs. Jesus, <laughs> 
Favor with God, Shaka. Favor with men, Amen. Favor with God, Amen. Receive it, Amen. The anointing for supernatural, inexplainable favor, Amen. Lift up your hands, everybody. Receive it, Amen. Take it. Amen. Take it. Amen. Take it. Amen. Inside and outside. Take it. Amen. Favor anointing. Take it. Amen. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Take it. Take it. The favor anointing. Favor anointing. Hey. Shakata. Hey. Kapato Sata. Hey. Shata Labakosa. Mari Kato Sata. Hallelujah. All those in debt, in debt, financial debt, both for you and for your family. If there's any family here that is in financial debt, Rekaposotoya. Be free. 
Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free. Everyone here who has suffered delay, any kind hey. of delay, hey. don't care what it is, in relationship, in marriage, in your academy, hey. in ministry, in business, if God be God, if God be God, I command Speak in the name of Jesus. Amen. Speak in the name of Jesus. Whatever has held you back, there are many of you. You are moving, but you are not making progress for yourself, for your family. Tonight, enough is enough. I prophesy that spirit that came upon Elijah that made him to run receive it in the name of Jesus speed in ministry speed in business speed in your finances I want to prophesy to your academics I want to prophesy I don't care to know what your CGPA is. I don't want to know how many carryovers you have. That's none of my business. I don't want to know who likes you or who does not like you. This night, right now, I command, begin to soar. Five points, receive it. Five points, receive it. Five points, receive it. Prophesy distinction. Receive it. Receive it. Hallelujah. Some of you read. You are not lazy. You do your best. You have tried to explain to people. They can't understand. Every time you want to read, you find out that there's something holding you back. Tonight, as surely as my father lives every mental blockage everything called dull let it die tonight in the name of jesus receive a super intelligent mind i prophesy a super intelligent mind conquer all your difficult causes conquer it conquer it Go back as a victor. Hallelujah. I want to pray for your finances. The error of begging and living from hand to mouth. Begging. Begging for everything. Many of you have left the Lord because of financial challenges. In the name that is above every name. Don't tell me about your father's job has nothing to do with your job don't tell me you are not working the power to prosper the power to prosper the power to prosper take it take it take it take it the power to prosper take it inside and outside take it the power to prosper Prosperity in business, prosperity in ministry, receive it in the name of Jesus. There are many of us, hear me, who have suffered with habits, habits, all kinds of ungodly habits. You have done the best, you have cried, you have fasted, you have prayed, lift up your hands right now every habit that does not represent the life of the kingdom i command it out of you now out of you now 
out of you now out of you now out of you right now hallelujah every spirit of fear timidity and discouragement this is what has stopped many people although you are praying in tongues fear timidity discouragement tonight right now i take authority over it let it live your life forever in the name of jesus i command multiply in the name of jesus be fruitful in the name of jesus subdue in the name of jesus every one of you here tonight is stepping into a new level of the anointing of the spirit receive it a new level of the anointing the operation the miracle working power receive it from tonight your words become powerful everyone you bless is blessed in the name of Jesus I speak over you every spirit of death every spirit of failure whether by accident whether by the sword right now let it be lifted from your life forever in the name of Jesus no more death no more death hallelujah I command every dying dream every dying vision every dying idea books to write songs to write organizations God has been speaking I command every dry bone hear the word of the Lord arise 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 let your dreams come alive let your visions come alive hallelujah hallelujah everyone in your family who is looking for a job or marriage or a building project that's what God is saying these three things job marriage a building project right now by the power of the spirit I command that you receive it for your loved ones supernatural marriages receive it receive it receive it receive it jobs for your loved ones receive it jobs without interview jobs without interview receive it hallelujah hallelujah everything that has made you cry i don't care what it is everything that you came here with that has brought tears from your eyes as surely as the lord lives you walk out of this ground a free man a free woman no more tears i prophesy no more tears by the word of god i create for you a future with laughter 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 fresh passion for the word of god fresh passion for the word of god receive it fresh passion for the word of god let the spirit of prayer fall grace to pray like a general grace to pray the spirit of prayer the spirit of intercession
lastly I prophesy the Lord tells me release the anointing for signs and wonders signs and wonders are not necessarily miracles and Lord according to your word signs wonders at the count of three this one will fall heavy this one will fall heavy one two three receive it signs wonders signs wonders become a sign become a wonder become a sign become a wonder become a sign accomplish more than your capacity accomplish more than your capacity hallelujah all of you who are lecturers if there's any lecturer in this place because you came tonight I command that's what the Lord is telling me to declare that the believer lecturers that came tonight I command a grace that will distinguish you for honor you can receive it for your parents receive it in the name of Jesus no more weakness no more frustration no more begging you are the head and not the tail you are above you are not beneath arise shine arise shine arise shine hallelujah so that when you leave this place tonight you will know that you did not waste your time many of you will go back and step into a fearful order of operation in this life see the bible says there are some beings that are celestial there are others that are terrestrial every man is not the same there is a plane that others walk in they walk like spirits they talk like spirits they are not bounded to the limitations of this realm. Many of you will go back and suddenly receive calls that things are shaking, changing, changing in your family. Uncles that have forgotten you will call you and send millions to your account. I'm not motivating you. I am prophesying to you. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Now listen to me. The Bible says, For this purpose was the Son of God made manifest, that he may destroy the works of the evil one. The greatest miracle that can happen in this place is for you to come back to the kingdom there are many of us who have not made a personal commitment to love God and to begin to live by his principles you're not born again every time you hear the things of God there are many of us that frown at it now this is very important everybody listen the Spirit of God is in this place you've never made a decision for Jesus Christ or you have made a decision just carelessly and you've left the things of God there is love in this place and there is a big welcome I'm not asking you to think about it I'm not asking you to pray inside and outside right now leave your seat and run and come and give your heart to the Lord do that quickly you want to make a decision you're saying enough is enough please leave your seat inside and outside the Lord is calling you right now. Leave your seat and come. The Holy Spirit is speaking to you. You need to make your ways right. 
I don't care if you're a pastor, you're a bishop. Appreciate them as they come, inside and outside. The Holy Ghost is calling you. It's a new beginning. Keep clapping, motivate them. Appreciate them, inside and outside. The Bible says, in the day that you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Now it's a new beginning. Those of you outside, the Lord is calling you. Do not reject his call. You have seen his power. You have seen his grace. Appreciate them. We will wait for you. Appreciate them. Satan, you will not hold anyone bound. Appreciate them. They are still coming. The Lord is still speaking. Those outside, don't let your friend hold you back. It's a new season. Keep clapping as they come. Keep clapping as they come. Don't be tired. Hallelujah. If you are still inside or outside, while I'm speaking, you can still come. Hallelujah. Now look at me. For those of you standing, I'd like you to know that we love you. You're making the greatest decision that you have ever made in this life. Are you listening to me? The greatest decision to make Jesus Lord of your life, not just to become a Christian, but to become a citizen of the kingdom. This is the secret of victory. This is the secret to a life of glory. No matter what you have done, men may condemn you, but let me tell you there is love for you here. I don't care what you have done, nobody condemns you. Are you listening to me? Now all of you standing in front, lift your hands as you pray this prayer after me. Say after me, dear Lord Jesus, it's not a special number. Say it out of revelation. Dear Lord Jesus, I love you. And I believe you died for me. I believe you shed your blood for my sins. And this night, I make a decision to love you, to live for you, and to serve you. I receive eternal life into my spirit. And I declare according to the word of God that I am born again Holy Spirit come and find a home in me teach me the laws of the kingdom and make me relevant in the kingdom from today I denounce sin and Satan I declare that I'm genuinely born again hallelujah let me pray for you father thank you for these ones they have expressed their desire and their love for you and for your kingdom for as many who will come lord you will in no wise cast away i pray that that preserving grace will rest upon them that grace that preserves men and keep them everything that you have that has held you bound you are walking out of it as you go back in the name of jesus i declare that you are free your sins are forgiven you in the name of jesus christ amen look at me this is the greatest decision that you have made never forget this day are you listening to me now i like you to just follow the ushers they are going to have details of your information and will follow you up adequately and pray with you this is the best decision i love you and i congratulate you in jesus name please i love you and i congratulate you in jesus name please i love you and i congratulate you in jesus name please i love you and i congratulate you in jesus name please i love you and i congratulate you in jesus name please i love you and i congratulate you in jesus name please i love you and i congratulate you in jesus name please i love you and i congratulate you in jesus name please i love you and i congratulate you in jesus name please i love you and i congratulate you in jesus name please i I love you and I congratulate you in Jesus name. Please I love you and I congratulate you in Jesus name. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget 
to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye